like being able to to do what most people can't, I guess. The human body can do great things, so just pushing that little bit further, you'll be able to, to find those new possibilities. Us humans are capable of huge things, having no, no limits, no boundaries. My personal longest race has been the uh, a 100 kilometre road race, and that was uh, took me seven and a half hours. I guess marathons are, pre are pretty common these days. I like to push the limits, and the races I tend to enter are anywhere from 50 to 100 k's at a time. Um, and they're generally not flat. You know, lots of trail runners where we're seeking to find the highest elevation, find the, the highest highest mountains that we can find, and get the best views at the top. <laughs> yeah, so your clothing is. You know, it's, it's really important. You need to be comfortable, um, especially running 100 k's. Anything can happen. Um, I think the worst things are, are things like chafing and blisters, um, and they can really ruin. You know, they can ruin your race. So you need to make sure you have the best gear out there that's gonna gonna look after your skin. Just knowing that, you know, that you are confident in, in what you're wearing, you know, you wear that to the start line because you believe in that product as well. It just gives you that extra bit of mental strength to push on and push harder as well and have that edge over your competitors. Yeah, look, I, I think um, the benefits of compression are, are huge, um, not only for performance but for recovery as well. Um, I tend to, to race in my um, compression calf sleeves or socks um, and I'll always recover in my tights and I think that helps um, you know, keep my body in, in good shape and, and ready for the next run. Yeah, I've definitely noticed a lot of changes and for the better as well, I'll add. Uh, yeah, it's just with the clothing, the compression, especially the two times you XTRN, which has recently come out and so we've been sampling that as well and, and you know, you just find that you perform a bit better, you perform, uh, recover a bit better, uh, you know, you feel comfortable as well, and then, you know, you can just go on the next day, not too sore, and, and you know, you, you feel really good about your body. Yeah, firstly, recover. I wear my um, compression after a race. You know, I might sleep in it, uh, go for a walk in it the next morning, uh, even go for a run or something like that. And then straight after a race, you know, you'll have your nutrition, uh, even have a warm down as well, you know, try and get lactic acid out of your legs uh, and your nutrition. So yeah, having your water, getting hydrated, having your recovery, whether it be protein or, you know, carbs, just to make sure that your body is fueled and not eating away at your muscles when you're not moving. So it's more of a lifestyle thing than just training it. You know, it is your life.